Come. Mwamba ulio pasuka. Mwamba ulio pasuka. Nani yako ni jifiche. Maji ya lega mui.
Nimefika kwa ke Yesu na roni mwangu sasa Juhu loke la nema Jina yao jina siyo ya juhu Juhu inai Ine kumbuli wake Ine kari
mwisima wanje urarevi kwa mwesero Haleluya 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 wakati ya chuhu wa mwasiche Hata tutazame ikiwa kati yetu kuna wadeni Haleluya ambele bakarani ya hama na hako Wale ambao ni mara ya kwanza kukusanika pamoja na asi Chane wa maze kire 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 Bala terani ya hama na hake Ama uenda wanasiku nyingi Awa shiriki pamoja na sisi kama wapo basi wanaweza wakajifamisha mali walipo na kama wapo basi sote tuwa geni mbele za mungu kwa siku ya leo kwa mana ni siku mpya kwetu Tena tumeonana pakipita siku nyingi Aja basi tupepe kwa
Okay. 
Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Eh kama unapenda Yesu fanya kile. Haleluya. Amen. Tunataka kusikia ujumbe toka kwa Mungu mdaika kidogo tu. We are going to hear a word from God in just a few minutes. Hatutakuwa kweli warefu sana. We won't take long. Maana tuna programu zingine hapa kisha mkutano huyu. Because we have a lot of programs after this service. Haleluya. Ninawasalimu tena ninyi wote kwa katika jina la Yesu. I greet all of you again in Jesus name. Na ninawafurahia tena sana vile mnapendezwa katika Yesu. I am very happy to see you very smile in Jesus Christ. Haleluya, haleluya. Eh Mungu ameendelea kunibariki kanisa hili. God has continued to bless this church. Maana ameendelea kulipatia watumishi waaminifu. Because he has continued to give them faithful service. Na ameendelea kujitukuza na kutenda kazi na nyumba. And has continued to work with them. Wanatulisha maneno ya uzima. They give us a word of life. Ambao kweli anatusaidia. That really help us. Ngawa tutawasikiliza if, if na kuweka kwa matendo wanayosema nasi hakika tutamwona tutaona mkono wa Mungu. We will see the hand of God. Haleluya. Wakati niliposimama hapa safari yangu ya mwisho when I stood here last time nilikuwa nikiwafundisha juu ya mwaka mpya yani new year. I was teaching about new year. Na tukaona kama mwaka mpya new year ni siku kuu ya mashetani. And we saw that new year is a is a day of the devil. Na si ya watoto wa Mungu. And it's not for Christians. Na tukaona kama katika siku hiyo wanamwabudu na kumkumbuka Mungu wao Janis. And we saw that on that day they remember and worship their god Janis. Kwa jina hiyo ndiko kumetoka jina ya January. And through that name they got the word January. Kwa hiyo katika siku hiyo wanamwabudu wanabudu hiyo miungu yao. And through that day they worship their idols. Na kuna vitu mingi vinafanyika katika siku hiyo. Wanakuwa na sherehe zao za ushirikina. They celebrate. Ambazo wanaziendesha huko kwenye wanakuwa. They have their own congregations that celebrate. Na tukaona ni namna gani watoto wa Mungu wanapasha kujikamata katika siku hiyo. And we saw how Christians should behave on that day. Huko sitaenda sana. Maana kuna siku sasa tuta kuja kabisa kufundisha hiyo mambo yote mwanzo mpaka mwisho Maana ni sheti kanisa la Bwana lijue ukweli na ninamshukuru mtumishi wa Mungu pasta alipate alitufundisha neno nzuri wiki ambayo imepita ambapo alitufundisha juu ya kweli haleluya ningemwomba ile somo I would have so I need to continue with that teaching. Ni sana kweli kabisa. Ni somo nzuri sana kweli kabisa. Haleluya. Amen. Niliona katika siku hiyo kuna kijana mmoja aliuliza ulizo. I saw that there is one person. Ni kusema mtumishi wa Mungu angeliendelea kabisa kindani. Meaning that if the preacher continues. Alikuwa anaenda kufungua ndio ya watu wengi. Kwa hiyo nitamwomba siku nyingine Mungu akimjalia afike tena atufundishe hilo somo. I'll ask him another day to come back to teach us again. Haleluya. Bwana tabiri nasema ya kwamba mtakapojua ukweli na ukweli utawaweka kuwa huko. Kumbe bila ukweli kanisa inafungwa. Haleluya. Unajua kama hata bila ukweli hatuwezi za kutubu zani. Watu wengi wanafungwa na zani maana wakati sema ukweli. Are, they don't say the truth. Na naona hiki nikikisema hapa mbele ya kanisa kuonekana na mna gani. And they if I say this how will I how will people feel? Haleluya. Amen. Hey, Amen. Hata mimi nitaja nikusema nimezini. How will I start saying that I committed adultery? Haleluya. Amen. Kama mnasikia haya ya kukiri zangu zenyewe kwa nini mnazitenda? If you are ashamed of repenting your sin, why do you commit it? Watu wengi wamefungwa katika ile hali. And a lot of people are blocked because of that. Baada ya Biblia inasema, zambi inatoka kwa kukiri. Sin uh, sin is removed from repentance. Hallelujah. Lakini unaikiri kama una kweli ndani mwako. If you, you by you repent, lazima useme kweli. Lazima ukiri na usipokiri utakufa na 
gran diablo. And if you don't say the truth, you will die with your sin and you go to hell. Aleluya. Mungu hivi anasema na kanisa. God is talking to the church. Siku ya leo. And today. Tunazungumzia kidogo tu. We are going to talk about something very little. Sin. Hallelujah. Aleluya. Amen. Mungu ana kitabu chake andike zamu. There are people who are writing things right sin. Aleluya. Zamu ni nini? Why is it? Na wazi kutuambia zamu ni nini? Who can tell us what is sin? Anything that God does not want. Hallelujah. Amen. Hey, the meaning of sin is committing is going against God. Every action that does not be is sin. Aleluya. Amen. Lina ipo sana. It's called sin. Unaiua? You know. Katika ulimwengu kuna vitu vingi vinavyotishia maisha ya mwanadamu. In the world there's a lot of things that make human sick. Kuna magonjwa yanayotishia. There are sickness. Wakati corona ilinuka watu wote walikuwa mkutetemeka. When corona came a lot of people were scared. Kuna vitu vingi There are a lot of people that make you scared. There are a lot of things that we hear that. Hallelujah. Kifo kinatisha. Vita kinatisha. Magonjwa yanatisha. Kweli kuna mambo mengi yanayotisha wanadamu. Lakini leo nakuja kukwambia ya kwamba Alikuwa watu wawili ndani ya gari. He had two passengers in the car. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Alikuwa na mmoja alikuwa daktar. I had one who was a doctor. And another one was a sister. And when that was our wedding, we were able to go to the hospital. That pastor he started doubting or feeling uh, sorry about it. He started doubting or feeling sorry about it. And he was saying, "I'm not a doctor. I'm not a doctor." He was saying, oh, uh, God's work is very heavy. We do it every time. But people don't even appreciate us. People just wish us bad. We always fight in war. God should even take me so I can rest. And those thoughts continued in his heart. Hallelujah. Na walipofika mahali wakati aliendelea kufikiria mambo hayo Tumishi wa Mungu anapata na shuhuda anasema Akajisikia ananya toka ndani ya mwili Na alipojisikia ananya toka ndani ya mwili pale pale alishtuka alianza kukemea pepo ya kifo Hallelujah. He started praying for that. Hey, hey. Jamie, when did you find that? I said, Oh, I've died. I almost died. Now I'm not scared of death. Hey, 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 I'm and they continue driving and praying praying continue praying hallelujah wakafika fasi moja they reach somewhere and they read the lights and they read the lights walingoja light as he was waiting for the light so he can turn green to god hallelujah na mtumishi wa Mungu alikuwa tu amekaa kwenye gari na wengine pembeni yake. Sasa kifo kikakuja kweli kweli original. Alijisikia tu ghafla mwili narejea. Akajisikia tu pa anatoka ndani ya uzima. Bila na pana ushuhuda anasema unapotoka ndani ya mwili hauende hapo hapo wewe unakuwa hapo hapo na mwili wako unaona anasema kilichomshangaza yeye ameisha toka ndani ya mwili alafu anaona tena yeye yuko kwenye steering ya gari na light iko mbele yake inaendelea kuwa inaendelea kuwa red akaanza kujiuliza mbona mimi huyu nakaa ndani ya gari tena mimi huyu nimesimama hapa haleluya waliokuwa ndani ya gari walipona melaza kichwa wakaanza kufunzika light ilipowaka green kumtikisa mtu haiko kugusa mtu kabisa amefariki hakuna kitu walikuwa na daktari ndani huwa wa daktari wanajua kupima wa juu waikishe kabisa kweli kama mtu amefariki daktari kuhakikisha kwamba hakika amefariki anaeleza ya kwamba wakati alikuwa hapo hapo anaona vile mambo yanaendeka watu wanazungumza anawaona yeye anajiona ndani ya gari haleluya hapo nabidi mfundishe juu ya somo ya mtu wa ndani niko mtaelewa maana kila mara tunawaambia mtu sio yeye mnaye muona Hallelujah. When we are dead, our life continues. And you still understand everything. Hallelujah. Hapa hapa tu kwa gasa. 
and just there silently. He saw someone wearing white in front of him. Who be are calling And he was an angel. As a lipo mwana taka muliza muliza la kwani. When he saw him, but I see my son. Then I see the one who is mama. Sasa ina maanisha nini? Huyo kamwambia hiyo ndio nini wanadamu mnaita kitu. I said that's why you call them you human. Hallelujah. Na kuondoka ndani ya mwili. When you leave your body unabaki kikiwa na ufahamu. You continue understanding everything. Hallelujah. Amen. Unaenda mbinguni you go to heaven. Na unaenda motoni kutoka mbele. You go to hell now that you going to hell. Hallelujah. Sasa anasema vile wale waliendelea na safari. And he said that when they continued with the journey. Wakaja kukimbiza gari haraka wampeleke kwenye hospitali. They started running fast to go to the hospital. Kufika ndani ya njia. When they reached on the way. Doctor kasema hata kwenye hospitali amekufa. The doctor said if any friend of the hospital. Mocha ni mtaji pesa nyingi za bure. The mocha is going to charge us a lot of money. Kwa sababu tupeleke huyu amarebu nyumbani. Let's just say the boy. Na huyu alikuwa amejiandaa kila kitu kupokea bure wa marehemu. And people had to pay And other people praying and praying. He said in that night We don't walk that we walk here Hallelujah Amen. The way that God was going He was going to pick up the gun The way that God was going He was also following it Hallelujah in that spiritual life if you say I want to go to China you will close your eyes and open when you're in China Hallelujah Yo mana wengi wanapofika Amerika wanashukuru na kuona wachai wa Afrika. That's why when they uh, people reach in America they say I'm happy that we wish in Africa. But the wish in Africa can find you here. Hallelujah. And they reached home when they had prepared. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. He was seeing everyone. When he was coming to the people that he was seeing, and he was seeing him because they didn't have the spiritual eyes. And the angel led him to see all of that. And after that, he was taken to heaven. Hallelujah. And uh, when he was there, he was shown a lot of stuff. When he died, he died in Christ Jesus, he was shown a lot of stuff. When he died, he died in sin, you will find the end of hell waiting for you. When he went there, they had prepared a sword and they prayed aloud. Hallelujah. When he was born, and now they say he was going back to tell them people all this. He said, "I will never do this again." And he was going back. He said, "No, I don't go back to earth." Hallelujah. I will never do this again. He's rich and he has But the happiness is not there He said that he don't go back to earth Hallelujah But they said no You have to go back And when the time reached They brought him back When he came back He was going to go back to his body He went back to his body wakamambia ingia nani ya mwini wako ya kasema nitaingia je na kacha nifika kakutana watu wako wanaomba 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 akasikia sila kubwa sana kasema ima hombi ya watu jina niudishu wangi niomba sili
hicho cha mwanzo ilifika wakati Mungu akajuta kwa nini ameumba kiumbe mwanadamu lakini kilichomletea Mungu kujuta ilikuwa ni kwa ajili ya zambi zilizokuwa zimejaa katika ulimwengu haleluya katika tabia ya Mungu Mungu ni Mungu ambaye si mwepesi kwa kujuta maana yeye kifanya jambo anajua kwa nini amelifanya yeye akiahidi ahadi zake zinakuwa ni mbio na hakuna hapana lakini kwa ajili ya zambi Mungu akajuta kwa nini ameumba mwanadamu haleluya hilo ndiko linaenda mbali nitawapatia ndiko hata sitalisoma Mungu akaja kuzunika kwa jii kwa nini amemumba mwanadamu ndiko lile linaenda mbali kiumbe Mungu alicho kiumba alichokuwa amekipenda alicho kiumba kwa sura yake mwenyewe alicho kiumba kiwe hata juu ya malaika Mungu akapanga mpango wa kukiangamiza Haleluya. Hasira ya zambi kwa Mungu inaenda mbali. Katika ndiko lile Mungu anasema hata litangamiza na wanyama hata hii ardhi litailani wadudu wapendwa. Hapa ndiko ninajiuliza nyama walikuwa wamemfanya Mungu nini? Haleluya. Hivi ardhi ilikuwa imemfanya Mungu nini? asira ya zambi zambi inapandisha asira ya Mungu haleluya zambi inawezi kuacha Mungu anamwacha mwanadamu zambi inawezi kuacha Mungu anaangamiza mwanadamu zambi inawezi kuacha Mungu anajitenga na kanisa haleluya watoto wa Mungu ogopeni zambi God of Christ please feel sin Haleluya Amen Tufungule Biblia nzima Na mimi nataka kumaliza sitakawia Sote katika kitabu cha Let's read in the book Daniel Kamata sura 11 mstari wa 13 na 2 Timotheo wa 2 Another one look for second Timothy Mbili two kumi na kenda nataka mwisikilize kwa makini aleluya na wao wafanyao na wao wafanyao juu ya hilo agano ata wapotosha kwa maneno ya kujipendekeza lakini watu wa mjuao mungu wao watakuwa hodari na kutenda mambo makuu amen amen wale watendao maovu kwa ajili ya lile agano mimi mungu nitawapotosha lakini wale watendao mema watakuwa hodari na watayatenda matendo ya ajabu and they continue doing miraculous things haleluya maniko yanakaribia kitu wanaita zambi the bible refuses the word nimewambia zambi inawezi kuacha Mungu anajitenga na mwanadamu zambi inawezi kuacha Mungu anaangamiza mwanadamu zambi inawezi kuacha hata Mungu anajitenga na kanisa na ninajua watu wengi wanataka niache kuambia tofauti ya zambi haleluya tukiaje kutaja aina ya zambi hatuwezi kuzimaliza hapa maana zambi ni nyingi sana nikwambie nini haleluya nataka nikwambie jambo moja katika agano la kale zambi zilikuwa zikiandikwa kwenye kitabu zambi zilikuwa zikiandikwa na watu walikokuwa wakitaka kujua zambi walikokuwa wakitaka kujua ni watu wamekosea Mungu 
vitabu inabidi wachunguze vitabu wachunguze maandiko ama kwa hadi mkubwa awasomee ile agano la kale haleluya ni hapo ndiko walikuwa wanatambua zambi zao ni hapo ndiko walikuwa wanatambua memkosea Mungu ni hapo ndiko walikuwa wanaenda kutoa sadaka ya kuomboleza sadaka ya buzi sadaka ya dama ili zambi zao zisamehe lakini nataka nikwambie jambo hili mwanadamu nisikilize kwa makini sana Mungu akasema hapa ndiko katika agano jipya Nimewaambia sitasoma lakini nitawapatia maandiko kwa wale ambao wanayataka. Mungu akasema, "Nitalifanya agano jipya na watu wangu." Ambao litakuwa tofauti na lile lililokuwa limefanya na baba zao. Huko katika agano la kale. Basi huko katika agano la kale, maovu na zambi zao ziliandikwa juu ya vitabu na juu ya mawe. Me, God. 
mbili kuna wakati utabaki mkisifu na Mungu atawaacha vile vile na Mungu atapotosha akili zenu lakini atakuwa tena haiko na nyinyi haleluya Mungu anaweza kuiacha taifa vile liko na mnaimba na mnasifu na mnaabudu mwisho mnaenda jana
Uwe ya nejele wekuge na iyo ya gie kwele Yeye alikuraia kwenda mahali ambapo alikuwa kwenye maono Kukuye ya gie na kitanga aje ya sante Na mahali alikuwa kwenda kona vitu ya kutishi Alikuye mfu uye kufiye mchara Lakini ukifiye katika zambi Utaangula kwa wadelekena wakera kutuira mwono wili Utaanza kutafuta jinsi na wakera kutuhuki ndani ya mwili na hita wazikani Munga wewe wakuza ya mwono wili wakera kwa ya singa 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 wakera kwa ya Jambo, nijua au Je, neno hile ni lako Baza mke nzao Ili jambo nijua au Uleza mzako, ili neno ni lako Ili neno ni lako Ili neno ni lako Ili neno ni lako Uleza moyo wako Ili jambo ni kuanje Je, neno hile ni lako Pasi tu kwa kusenia Tunataka kuhu Kandu watu wa isha kwenye imana ni watu senia Tena na hii ya liturisha neno ndia tatome Nende Ni nani Ambaye mjisikia kwa mba kuna zambi ama kitu Haka hakatonya Kwa kitu kidogo Changi cha hakirini Ama zambi kubwa Kutu hakare kusangahi mbele Masi unaweza kusimba matua kwa mbele Hali mwoko tu imana atuwaisha kwenye imana Laki mtumishu wa mungu ambaye mtulisha neno atuwa mbele Tua kuru ke Tasimamu Mwambie so mwambie Mwambie so mwambie Ata wisa yote yesu mwambie Ata kusame yesu mwambie Mwambie yesu Mwambie yesu mwambie 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 yesu mwambie
katika jina la Yesu Kristo mwana wa Mungu aliye hai. Bwana tumeombea watoto hawa ambao wametambua ndani ya nyoyo yao ya kwamba kwa njia hii ama na hii wametembea kinyume na mapenzi yako, wamekuwa waasi mbele zako. Mungu mwenye uwezo na mwenye mamlaka. Mungu unayejaa wingi wa neema na wingi wa rehema. Mungu unayejaa huruma ndani ya moyo wako. Basi ni nani mwanadamu anaweza akastahili pasipo huruma hizo zinazotoka ndani ya moyo wako na katika rehema hizo zinazotoka ndani ya moyo wako na ufumilivu wa ajabu huo ulio ndani mwako. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo mwana wa Mungu aliye hai. Ninawaombolezea hawa watoto moja kwa moja vile wameshuka mbele zako kufanya wa amani. Mungu wangu ninaomba uwasamehe. Mahali kote wameshikwa na mahali kote wamekosea. Mahali kote wameanguka katika mazaifu ndani ya maisha yao. Mungu wangu ninaomba uwasamehe. Ninajua wamezitenda zaidi za kila aina. Lakini maandiko yameniambia ya kwamba hakuna zambi isiyosamehewa mbele zako. Isaya moja inasema ya kwamba hata zambi zetu zinakuwa nyekundu kama mwako. Utazigeuza kuwa nyeupe kama seroji. Yesu wangu naomba uwahurumie. Yesu wangu naomba uwasamehe. Maandiko yanadiandia ya kwamba ni wewe tu peke yake unaye uwezo ya kusamehe zambi za mwanadamu. Ndio maana ni wewe tu nimeinua watoto hawa mbele zako. Nikiomba kwa muda kama na huu, Yesu wangu wagusa. Yesu wangu warehe. Yesu wangu wasamehe. Hakuna kinachondoa zambi za mwanadamu isipokuwa damu yako ya samani. Na ni kwa hiyo nikufa msalaba. Hili zambi hili damu yako ipate kutuoa. Ninaomba hiyo damu inayoosha na kusafisha sana ianje kumiminika ndani ya nyoyo yao ianje kumiminika juu ya maisha yao katika jina la Yesu Kristo mwana wa Mungu aliye hai kilichokuwa kisababisha maovu na mwao ila kiamakia na kichoko na kiteketeza katika jina la Yesu Kristo mwana wa Mungu aliye hai acha bwana kuanza leo waje safari mpya pamoja na we katika jina la Yesu ninaombea hizi nguvu zikae na mwao nguvu za kushinda za nguvu za kushinda uo nguvu za kushinda dunia nguvu za kushinda tamaa za ulimwengu katika jina la Yesu Kristo mwana wa Mungu aliye hai naomba neema hii iendelee kukaa ndani ya maisha yao jina zao bwana ziendelee kuandikwa katika kitabu cha uzima na ziendelee kufutikana katika kile kitabu cha ukovu katika jina la Yesu Kristo mwana wa Mungu aliye hai wao wale walioishi ahadi hiyo uliosema ya kwamba wale wamekisha kuokoka wamepita mauti katika jina la yeye na wameingia uzima wa milele asante maana unasamehe asante maana unasafisha asante maana unaosha asante maana umewaokoa toka katika mikono ya ule oh aliyesababisha mwenendo wao uwe ule usio kupendeza katika jina la Yesu ameshindwa na mekimbia mbali na maisha yao asante maana wewe ni Mungu uliye pamoja nao naomba washike mkuu naomba wategemee naomba tembee pamoja nao hadi utakapowaitisha ili ahadi uliyotuaidia ya kwamba tutakuwa warisi pamoja na Yesu Kristo katika urithi wa ufalme wa mbingu ni katika jina la Yesu naomba amen amen Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Amen.
Imani kwa hivi tanga za tuli kukore shisimu Amunari mwuri Afrika, Mwurundi, mwuri Zimbabwe na hali Mungu wa kwenye mwujiza hata tukitumia kwenye shisimu Uwaka zengao ye tukarambi tukaboro ikiganza kuri wewe urakira Na ukisimama hapo tukinyosha tumukono unapokea na uponyaji Mungu wa yaringa hao chama jusa nugeza kwa hae aguru kekuki hiwe chama manike kwa Kama kuna mungonja hiko hapo ama na rafiki ya mbani mungonja naweza kusimama kwa nafasi yake kwa jina la Yesu poke enu kwa nyaji Tunalinua tena jina lako buwana Uko mungu mwamuniku na utabaki kwa mwamuniku siku zote Buwana umetuaidi ukasema tutamawesha mikomu jina wa zonjo Na utapokea ate na kwa nyaji Na sumama kwa gizo inu mwamuniku Mikiri mujiza wako wa makana wa wakoja hawa mawa msumamu wa mwako Kukia imani ya mwako ni jenga buwana Kukia imani ya mwako ni mujiza wako ni mchiko wa leo Wadi ni mwakiria mwako ni 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 mwako
Amen. 